So on our homepage, we're grabbing the first page from the Hacker News API of stories. But how do we get the second page? How do we get more results for stories? Well, if we take a look again at our index page. We're getting the first page because for the page query param for the news endpoint, we're passing a value of one, and this is hard coded. Now, to get the next page, it would make sense that we would set page to two. But how do we increment that? Fortunately, we can make use of get initial props its parameter, in particular, one specific parameter from get initial props in order to get that query param value. So within the parameters of get initial props, we have a context, a context object. And usually, get initial props gives us data about our server if we have a custom server set up. So we can destructure this context object to get information about the requests we're making, as well as response from the server. And the third parameter is where we can get our query param values from the URL. So if we just log query, this parameter called query, we save this. And in our URL, we pass in the query param page, just like we are trying to access with our API endpoint. And we give that a value of two, and we hit enter. If we check our terminal, we can see since get initial props is logging here in the terminal, we see that query gives us the one query param that we have of page and an object. So the property page is set to the string two. So this value from get initial props will tell us or allow us to dynamically change the endpoint that we're accessing based on the page that was requested. So how do we take this page value and use it to change our endpoint to increment that? Well, we begin by and just remove that console log Instead of manually changing the URL, we could just add a link here at the very bottom underneath all of our stories. We could do that within a footer. We could include a link using our link component. For now, we can just include the text of click here. The href would use some template literals to again provide a query param of page and take the current value of the page we have and increment that by one. So take page plus one. But how do we get the page? How do we get the current page that is? Well, if we head back up to get initial props, we can create a page variable to store that value. And then we'll calculate that value when we request data. So if we're on the home page and we haven't requested another page before, we shouldn't have a query param value. We shouldn't have anything coming in from query. So by default, it would be set to one. However, if we're not on the home page, if we're on a page greater than one, we would take query.page. And remember that we saw that it returned a string. We need to convert that string to a number. We can do so with the number function. So if query.page doesn't have any value, we want to default to one. So if this returns false, we want page to be one. So we'll use an or conditional. Otherwise, if we do have a value for query.page, we'll convert it to a number and set it to the page variable. And then instead of hard coding the value here, we'll use template literals and dynamically put that variable's value in. So to put page on props so the rest of the component can access it, we'll return page in our props object. Within render, we'll destructure page from the props object. So then finally, in our link, we can increment the current page by one. So let's test this out. We'll save our file, we'll head back, and we'll go to the home page by clicking on our home link and keep an eye on the URL. So if we head down to the bottom, we head down to our footer, which has our link, and we click on it, 
will be taken to the second page and we get some new results. And we can continue doing this and you should continue to see the page param increment by one every time. However, to more easily keep track of the page, instead of having the text be click here, we'll change it to next page and then interpolate the value page plus one in parentheses. And additionally, let's add some CSS rules to our footer to make it look a bit nicer. So we'll give it some padding setting by setting padding to 1M. And then the link within it will have a font weight of bold, a color of black, and text decoration none. So if we head back, we can now see the page that we're going to. and we can browse through all of the available stories.